At this point, we've established that the moon is strange, but there's one detail that most people don't realize. And once you hear it, it reframes everything. Some scientists don't think the moon qualifies as a moon at all. That's not a fringe theory. It's a real ongoing debate about how we define celestial objects. And the moon doesn't fit neatly into the categories we've created. Let's back up. In 2006, Pluto was famously demoted from full planet status to a dwarf planet. That decision was based on a revised definition. A planet must orbit the sun, be spherical, and have cleared its orbital neighborhood of other debris. Pluto didn't pass the test. But in making that distinction, astronomers also drew sharper lines around what counts as a moon. Here's where it gets weird. Our moon is enormous relative to the Earth. In fact, it's the fifth largest moon in the solar system. That kind of size ratio is unusual. And because of its mass and proximity, the moon doesn't just orbit us. It actually pulls on Earth, too. The gravitational center between the Earth and the moon, called the Berry Center, is located about a thousand miles below Earth's surface. That's close, but in cosmic terms, it suggests a more balanced relationship than the word moon implies. If the moon were just a little further away, if the Berry Center were outside Earth's surface, then by some definitions, the moon would qualify as a planet, and Earth would be a binary system. Even now, the moon's path through space doesn't look like a tidy orbit around the Earth. If you trace it, its trajectory is almost always concave towards the sun. It's essentially co-orbiting with us around the sun in near-perfect synchrony. Isaac Asimov once wrote that the moon behaves less like a satellite and more like an independent planet moving in step with us. So what does that mean? Maybe nothing. Or maybe our understanding of what the moon is and how it got there needs to change. Follow for part seven, where we're going to look at the moon's origin story. Because here's the truth no one likes to admit. We don't actually know where the moon came from.